As the shutters come down, the spray cans come out. Urban arts invading the streets of Bristol this weekend. This is all official. The artists have got permission. This is Upfest, the urban painting festival. What is it then about Bristol and graffiti? I suppose it's part of the history, really. It sort of goes back to, to days of sort of like uh, wild days, uh, back in sort of like the 80s. Um, a lot of the inf came, influences came over from America. Um, and in Bristol, with the, uh, with, with the music scene, uh, sort of the hip hop culture, uh, it kind of was all sort of funneled through that, really. Most of the artists start out with a design like this, but there's then three or four days of hard work to produce a full size mural like this. And it's the scale of something like this that is so impressive. But this is the biggest street art festival in Europe. Over the weekend, more than 30,000 square feet of wall space will be painted. More than 300 artists have come from around the world to be here, 20 different countries. I did a fine art degree and I figured that it was time to learn a new medium. So I decided to try and figure out how I can make spray paint work in the same way as I use a brush. Art or vandalism? Art. Without you like doubt. it? Love it. Absolutely love it. That's why what we're here. What does it do for the area? I, I, it, bring, it must bring visitors here and it brightens the place up. I think it's decorative. I, I, I kind of like it. I think if it's well done it's acceptable. Well, it depends where it is of course. I do without the thick thug of aerosol fumes over the weekend but I'm going to clear off for the weekend so um, but yeah, no, it's, it's all right. I know graffiti has often been seen as an act of vandalism in some places, but if you look around this area of Bristol, uh, I think Upfest have managed to turn it into something that's really beautified the area. Just uh, putting the finishing touches to my own effort, it's not much really. I'm sure they'll be better produced over this weekend, but most of these artworks are not here to stay. The majority will be sprayed over by this time next year. Dan Johnson. BBC News, Bristol.